Iridium is a metal discovered in the 1800s. It has since been used by NASA for space travel because of its durability. And now for the first time, it's being used to make jewelry. This is Michael Silver. He's the founder and CEO of Smithson Tenant. Thank you so much for being here, first of all, Michael. Thanks, Serene. Now, you've been working with this metal for many years, yes, right? Tell me correct. about it, first of all, Michael. Well, iridium melts at an extremely high temperature, uh, over 4,000 degrees. Uh, you compare that to gold that melts at around 800 degrees, uh, which gives it two kinds of applications. One, it has this incredibly bright luster because it doesn't corrode, mm -hmm. like, like even a gold or silver or platinum might. It also, because of its uh, great strength, um, is perfect for use in, by NASA on satellites, uh, it's used in certain automotive applications, just like platinum is used in the catalytic converters of cars. Precious mm -hmm. metals find themselves where they apply to a lot of high technology. So we've been working with it for 20 years in high technology. We just this year are now introducing it for jewelry. Wow. And what is your background, Michael? Um, I'm actually uh, have a law degree and an MBA from USC, <laughs> believe it or not. But I have some incredibly brilliant people that work for the company, American Elements. Uh, is a high technology company. We're based here in the U.S., in China, and in Europe, and we work a lot in the high technology field. Hmm. Uh, so, you know, lots of PhDs running around doing things, but I'm more of a business guy. And why did you decide to really get into the jewelry aspect of it? Uh, we just realized that because iridium is the least corrosive metal mm -hmm. of all the metals on the periodic table, meaning every metal, uh, m more so than platinum, gold, or silver, that in reality, it is in many ways the most precious metal. It is the most like it. It will not corrode if you even put it in acid. So that beautiful shiny luster, which mm -hmm. uh, if your viewers can see, we've yeah. got a couple rings here, it retains at a level that even platinum and gold don't. So if one can find a way to work with iridium, it really is introducing the most beautiful metal kind of to the jewelry trade. And we thought, let's, let's do this. Wow. Yeah, and we're looking at some of the video of the rings and stuff here. Mm -hmm. And the rings that you brought here to display for us, those look like beautiful wedding bands. Yeah, they're both ways. It's a man's and a woman's wedding band. Mm -hmm. um, you so know, shiny. Yeah, yeah. And w when we first did this, we decided, we didn't think of marketing it because we're a technology company. We're really not a jewelry <laughs> company. But because it got out in the field of those people, you know, people like Elon Musk, you know, Tesla got one, mm -hmm. um, Don Henley of the Eagles, mm -hmm. you know, the rock band. And people have been buying them. We thought, you know what, we should probably let the kind of world know these things are out there, you know, instead of just selling them internal to kind of the technology world that we live in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was saying before we went on camera, I had a platinum ring. It's really soft, and mine actually started to become kind of an egg shape after yeah, a while from being happen. really hard on my hands. But this sounds like this won't budge. No, it's an impossibility. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very hard. Um, and that, like I said, that hardness and that high temperature nature gives it this almost like pearlescent kind of luster that you don't get from a platinum. So mm -hmm. it's, you hold the two next to each other and, and say which one's more beautiful, it's pretty obvious. And know? what are we talking price point wise compared to the other precious metals? Um, the bands started around just under $2,000. Mm -hmm. So it, they're more expensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, iridium is trades on the commodity exchanges just like gold, silver, and platinum. Right. It, it is a commodity metal. There are times like in 2014 where it was selling higher than gold and platinum. It's currently kind of number three in that group, but it bounce, they bounce around together. Um, so, you know. What other things do you make with iridium that most people don't know about besides um, jewelry? Mostly things for, for NASA, yeah. uh, SpaceX, uh, European Space Agency. Uh, because of this very high ability to work with temperature, mm -hmm. you can put it on the outside of a satellite or a space flight and it can handle the solar radiation. Hmm. So it's got this ability there and it, re and it retains that shiny metallic luster even in space mm -hmm. which even a gold or a, a platinum will do. And that speaks to why Elon Musk was familiar well, he with was the metal. I'm sure he was interested <laughs> in it because it's it's just cool and new and you can't get them anywhere else. We're the only company in the world that knows how to do it. We developed the furnaces which are like the furnaces you might use to make diamonds. Right. You know, Real high pressure, real high temperature um, and we've got that technology and you can't really get them anywhere else so they're they're kind of a special item. And where are the mines? I mean, where does it come from? A uh, lot out of Africa and a lot of Russia. Okay. Russia has a uh, pretty good, a lot of the iridium is mined with platinum. They mm -hmm. tend to kind of find the same geologic location. Mm -hmm. um, so Russia has a lot of platinum. So mm -hmm. it comes out of there. And then there's a couple of mines in Africa we work with.
Wow. And you can get them from you. Is that right? Yeah, Smiths and Tannant mm -hmm. is the subsidiary of American Elements uh, mm -hmm. that sells them. So if someone Googled Smiths and Tannant, or yeah. literally if you just look up Iridium Jewelry, Iridium Rings, we're the only guys in town, so uh, we're going to be there. But uh, probably, you know, Smiths and Tannant's the division of American Elements that produces them. Mm -hmm. uh, American Elements is my main company. Uh, so they can look up Smith and Tenet or they can just Google Iridium Rings. Yeah. Well, they're beautiful and well, so interesting. Thanks, Serene. Thank you, Michael. We really appreciate your time. Thanks for yeah. coming in this Thank morning.